Now, Mali has recently taken steps to turn more of its shade trees into shared wealth. The fruit from these trees can be used to make soap and cosmetic products that are popular in foreign markets. VOA's Paul Ndiho has more. Mamu Kuruble and Fatumata Tangara know all about the benefits of the she tree. Like thousands of other women in Mali, they've been gathering its fruit for years in order to produce soaps and other products. The she tree grows wild throughout the vast country, but here in Kimeni it remains a source of natural wealth that is not being utilized to the fullest. Women in Mali face many challenges in transporting the she fruit to places where it can be stored and processed. If we could change anything, it would be the transport. Buying carts would be a great help. Mamu is fortunate because she can borrow her husband's cart, but others aren't so lucky. One of our biggest constraints is we have nowhere to store the fruit at home. Challenges remain even after the fruit from the she tree has been delivered to a processing center. Nini Taure works in Sugu in southern Mali. This center uses 800 liters of water per day, and it all has to be pumped from the ground, 10 liters at a time, and carried to where the women work. It's an energy-sapping process that often leaves women too tired for the remaining labor-intensive tasks. Two problems we are confronted with here are the water situation and the fact that we have to mix everything by hand. This new project is seeking to help women become more productive, so they will be able to make their businesses more profitable. It's administered by the governments of Mali and Luxembourg in conjunction with the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, or UNIDO. The center employs 20 women who process the sheep fruit are gathered by more than 2,500 women, spread across 32 area villages. Just a year ago, the center could only produce 100 kilos of soap per day. Now, it can produce 600. And the emphasis is on quality as well as quantity. A better product means a better life for the workers. The soap has changed greatly. Before, we didn't know what was in it. Now, we make soap that is purely vegetable, and we know that it is good for our health. Higher productivity means higher wages for the workers, allowing the women to spend more of their money where it matters most. When I wasn't earning, my life depended on others. Now, I earn my living, I can organize, and I am in control of my life. At this local school in Doyala, the classes are full. More children are attending class if their parents are able to pay the required fees and don't need them to work and assist the family financially. They no longer take their children out of school for domestic work. The family income has increased. They use all sorts of means so that they have enough money to live. Girls used to be withdrawn from school to produce a mill by hand. Now, with mill machines, girls are no longer made to do it. They can study normally in class. In fact, they are the best performers. The support given to the women outside the capital is part of a government policy to combat poverty in rural areas of the country. Women work with she in all forms, from the north to the south and from the east to the west. Nowadays, there is a question of quality with she. We are trying to improve that with the new techniques. The cooperative based in Diola produces goods that are sold at this shop in Bamako. And it's not only just domestic consumers the project is targeting, but they also have new clients in France. Analysts are hoping that the more value the women of Mali can add to their product, the more profit they will be able to make. And if the improvements here can be duplicated across the country, many other women in Mali have something to celebrate in the future. Paul Ndihao, VOA News.